Today is World AIDS Day and specialist doctors say patients going into hospital or joining a GP practice in parts of our region should be given an HIV test. It's because the rates of the disease in some areas are so high. Currently, half of all HIV patients are only diagnosed when they're admitted to hospital and seriously ill. Our health correspondent, Michele Paduano, reports. Convent educated, Catholic and HIV positive. Katie never dreamt that she could be, but she was. I thought I had cancer because I was losing so much weight. And it was a bit of a head in the sand because I didn't want to know the truth. But never, ever did I think of HIV. And so you've not had lots of partners? No, no, no. To be, quite, to be totally honest, three. If it had been discovered earlier, she wouldn't be in such pain and would take just two drugs. I couldn't walk, I couldn't talk. I couldn't breathe properly. I was admitted to A&E. I had a horrible type of pneumonia, which is like where your lung, lungs just blow holes the whole time. I had lost so much weight, and it, it really was touch and go whether I would survive. There are over 4,000 patients being treated in our region, but a quarter of all cases are undiagnosed. There are hotspots in the centre of Birmingham and also in the centre of Coventry, and if the prevalence of HIV is as high as it is in these areas, then we should be doing routine testing when patients are presenting to hospital with symptoms or uh, to their GPs. There is now a danger that has become a threat to us all. AIDS isn't the killer it was in the 80s. With treatment, HIV patients will live 30 years, but it's associated with TB, which is on the increase. GPs admit they need to be more aware but they're not convinced about widespread testing. It's just about raising that awareness every opportunity you get. And in everyday general practice, when patients come to see me, uh, pushing HIV up the list of things that it might be. And thankfully, often it isn't. Katie's children don't know about her illness, but she doesn't want others to be in the dark. Michele Paduano, BBC Midlands Today, Birmingham.